Hello everyone, today we're making Greek gyros from scratch. When it comes to food, Boston is definitely one of the best cities with different cuisines from all around the world. But if there is one thing, the one thing they cannot make it right is Greek gyros, or how they commonly mispronounce it, gyros. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the best gyros from scratch at home. To make the pita bread we will need 3 cups of all-purpose flour 1 and a half cup of half water and half milk 1 tablespoon of sugar 2 teaspoons of yeast 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of olive oil Combine together the milk, water, yeast and sugar and let it rest for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes have passed, mix together the flour with the salt and then add the mixture that we prepared earlier. Knead the dough for about 5 minutes and then add the olive oil. We are going to continue kneading the dough in a flat surface for about 10 minutes to activate all the gluten in it. After the dough looks perfectly smooth, put it back in the bowl and let it rest to proof for about an hour. While the dough is resting, it's time to prepare all the ingredients we are going to use in the gyro. To make the french fries, I am going to peel two potatoes cut them into stripes and then wash them really really well because by washing them we are going to remove all the extra starch which means that our french fries are going to be crispy. We will fry the french fries for 20 minutes on medium heat. Next let's prepare the chicken. Using your favorite cuts, in my scenario I'm using the chicken thighs, cut them into small pieces. We are going to marinate the chicken with only salt and black pepper. This is how the french fries should look halfway through. Next, we are going to fry the chicken on medium heat with a crushed garlic clove and some rosemary oil. In about 15 minutes, the chicken should be crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. While the chicken is frying, don't forget to check my Instagram page, Julia Cooks, where I post other recipes and restaurant reviews. To prepare the tzatziki, we are simply gonna dice one cucumber, we're going to mince two garlic cloves and then add them into the sour cream. Then add some olive oil and salt and mix them really well. It's finally an hour and it's time to cook the pita bread. Take the dough outside the bowl and cut it into 6 equal pieces. Shape each piece into a sphere and start rolling it out with a rolling pin. Once we have opened the pita to our desired size, we are going to fry it in just a little bit of olive oil. Make sure to poke some holes with a fork so that the pita stays flat. In about 2 minutes, flip it to the other side and let it cook for 2 more minutes. Repeat the same process for the remaining dough. And here we come to the final part, assembling the gyro. First, we are going to add the tzatziki sauce and then some lettuce and tomatoes. Then, we are going to add our chicken and the fries. Wrap the gyro around and that's how you make the best Greek gyro from scratch at home. 
This is literally uncomparable to any other Euro I've had in my life. If you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe below, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.